Hello. Blind Pew here. If you are a regular receiver of my transmissions, you will know that not so long ago I passed through the event horizon of a black hole. Link on screen to that transmission. What happened after that was very odd. Like being split across multiple universes, or the multiverse, if you like. The upshot of all that is that I find myself here crashed on an alien world well i'm not sure what a multi-tool is but my ship looks wrecked perhaps by multi-tool it is referring to me ending up in this situation better check out the damage i suppose hum launch thrusters critically damaged not good then looks like i need something called a carite sheet to repair it but, before we get to that I'd better check what is salvageable from this wreckage first. Some sort of technology to do with photon cannon cooling. Do I have photon cannons? A shielding sheet. Is that useful? Debris that I cannot access because I don't have an Atlas Pass V1. Whatever that is. Is it valuable debris? Ah, plutonium. I'm sure that is useful. Lots of plutonium. And? and a fascination bead. I've absolutely no idea what that is. It sounds rather unpleasant. I dropped into this nearby cavern using my jetpack. I'm looking for iron. Ah there we go. Let's try the mining laser on this multi-tool. I say. That's rather vigorous isn't it? I overheated it. Must be careful of that. This planet has quite a toxic atmosphere. I'll need to keep an eye on my exposure suit's toxicity level in the bottom left of my visor there. I need a little bit of carbon. I should be able to get some off this tree-like object. Yes, there we go. Oh my, I destroyed it. Terribly sorry about that. Hope no one was watching. Emerald. May as well collect that. Look at those. The gravity on this planet is all a bit odd. My scanner tells me those are copper. So how is that happening then? Odd. Hope that indigenous creature is docile, whilst I mine this plutonium. Looks like he is. I spooked him. I need to collect all of this. Turns out it powers much of my equipment and the ship. More iron. And now I should be able to make the carite sheet we were after. Ah yes, there we go. Let's see if we can repair the launch thrusters now. Sterling. We can. Oh great. There is another engine. The pulse engine. And it needs repairing as well. We need more carite sheets. Zinc which I already have and iridium. Think I saw that back there. Yes, I did. It does look rather majestic doesn't it? I'll just chip a few bits of the side so it's not noticeable. Oh my word. I think someone might just notice that. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. See what I said about the gravity here. Bizarre. Aha. Gold. That's always valuable isn't it? Isn't it? Let's collect his. Gold. Love Ellie Gold. Oh, look at that. Seems I'm not so alone as I thought on this planet. Okay, then. Let's repair this other engine then. Fantastic. However, before we try launching, a couple of things. I found this weird ancient alien structure. A knowledge stone apparently. I've deciphered the jack word for give. Whatever a jack is. More gold. Let's bag that. More gold in the distance. Hey look at this little chap. Hello there. Okay. Let's collect this gold as well. Time for the maiden flight. Brace yourselves.
Wow. Well this is nice isn't it? Quite the view. Who look, that is where I was on that peak, I think. Oh look, seems to be some sort of settlement down there. I was not as isolated as I imagined then. Well, enough of that. Let's head out of the atmosphere and into space. Oh, seems the pulse engine is a flying as it has no fuel. Needs something called thallium 9. Whatever that is. I never saw any on the planet. Wonder where you get that. Oh look transport ships. And asteroids. Wow the planet looks superb from up here. Let's try the photon cannons. Oh, wow, thallium 9. Just what I needed. What about that? Let's get some more. I think that is a space station over there orbiting that planet. Let's try these newly repaired and fueled thrusters out, and head over there. Whoa. And in no time at all we are here. Let's try docking. It can't be hard. Can it? Easy. But then, I am quite skilled. Hey, turns out that I had a crumpled voucher in my back pocket that entitled me to a free upgraded spaceship. So I've taken delivery. What do you think? It's only a little bit better, but I like the look. It has wings that look like they could open up. Say like an X. Hey, I know. I'll call it an X-Wing. I'm sure that name hasn't been registered as a trademark or anything. Taking a look around the station now. I should stop running everywhere. I'm out of breath. Basic. Utilitarian. Bit of a waiting room feel to it. Perhaps it is. Nice view out there. Like the light. What's up here I wonder? Locked. Atlas pass again. V3 this time. I've still no idea what that is. Hey. Someone's parked up next to me whilst I was in there. Let's take a look. Excuse me. Yes you sir. You in there. Ah. So these are the Jack. Let's allow a gold to him. He offers a reasonable price. Wow. I have 10,000 units. Is that a lot? Am I rich? Oh look. He will entertain offers to buy his ship. Oh 1.3 million units. Seems I'm not that rich. Very nice, Mr. Jack. But it's just not the right time for such a purchase at the moment. Let's get out of here. All this talk of expensive ships is giving me status anxiety. Time to check out the galactic, or universal, who knows, map. So, we are in the Yuzri Kanzalov system, a class G star with 5 planets. Following a path to the galactic core takes us next to, Ordoinch 2, a class G star with 3 planets. Engaging warp drive. Wow, that is something, isn't it? And we've arrived already. Oh, some trade ships and asteroids. Let's pick up some more Thallium 9. Oh, 
careful Pew. Don't shoot the cargo ships. Burning through the atmosphere is really deleterious. I'm glad we have the appropriate shielding. Whoa. I didn't realize we were that close. Regardless, we've arrived here, on one of the planets. Quite a lot of vegetation on this one from the look of it. I found this drop pod. Oh, look. Someone has just left this exosuit upgrade just lying around. It has an extra pocket. Yes, I'll take that. Seems my pockets are always full at the moment. And an abandoned base. What should we do? Of course, steal all the tech, like any self-respecting explorer. A mining beam upgrade. Super duper. Now, then. Look at this ancient alien structure I have found. Legacy of Yedlongaradri. Somehow connected to the ancient history of the Jek alien race inhabiting this area. I can interact with it. Hum. A dead creature appears animated by this structure. Leave it alone or shoot it. I'll leave it. I don't know what this is all about. Oh. Guessing that was wrong? Aha. Some sort of settlement with a landing pad. Let's see if we can land on it. Yes we can. Okay, what's in here? Looks like a jag. Let's have a chat with it. Hum. With my limited jack vocabulary all I could make out was, jack, and, gif. Its body language indicates it wants money. Here, chappy, have 10 units on me. Whoa. That seemed to rather excite it. Oh, it gave me some new tech in return to do with cannons. Thanks. I'm now approaching another planet in this system. Or are there a moon? Tekenba Minor, moon of Mekongukakingo. Looks somewhat barren. I found another base. Let's land. Touchdown. Another Jack. I've absolutely no idea what this one said. But he has left his tech blueprints lying around. So let's read up. Aha. Instructions on how to build a pathway through the stars. Might be useful then. You know, I'm intrigued by the main planet up there. Let's go take a look. Straight up through the clouds I think. Ah, there is the planet in all its majesty. Apologies, I appear to be having, air yeah, issues, with the controls. There we go. I found this ship also has lasers in addition to the cannons and... Blimey. Those seem rather powerful. They do overheat quickly don't they? Planet Midori Gakukingo. Here we come. So fast. Switching from interplanetary pulse drive to planetary landing thrusters. Things are heating up a bit, it seems. Oh, look what's that. A large building of some sort. Getting in closer. Multiple landing pads. Let's try and land. And we are down. Okay, some sort of communal area. Looks like it is a trading post. Let's trade them. Selling all my surplus stuff, since I have no space, really, in which to store it. 
I've now got the units to buy some antimatter that is used in the inter-system warp drive. I've not seen any of this stuff on my travels so far, other than for sale. Okay, let's fuel up the warp drive. We have to make a warp cell with the antimatter we bought in Thallium 9. There. Made it. Now to fit it. What? You're joking. That was only about 10% refueled. It would appear, inter-system travel is somewhat expensive. Oh, look. I'm not the only one using this trading post. Anyway, I'm off to explore the planet. But that will have to wait until my next transmission. Until then. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there. of this strange mark on the barnacle. Is it a maker's mark? Why does it make me think of Barnard's loop? There is certainly a close resemblance. Can there be a connection? Right. Let's carry out an experiment. Hopefully that will not start an interstellar alien war. That was a protrusion growing small green orbs 5 have come off. Let's collect them for a closer look. Um, 